Well, from the National Film Awards to a real-life potboiler that's playing out in the state of Maharashtra. This is the Antilia bomb scare case, which has become an all-out war between the Mumbai police and the Udhav Thakare government. There have been developments every single minute, so I want to simplify it for you and first tell you about the top five developments as I bring you this show live. Number one, the big development today that was broken first on India today, the shunted Mumbai Police Commissioner Parimdeep Singh has approached the Supreme Court seeking a probe into his extortion charges against Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh. He says these are corrupt malpractices that have been perpetrated by Anil Deshmukh. Parambir has also sought an investigation into CCTV footage of the Home Minister's home. Imagine the Home Minister under whom he served until just a few days ago. Development number two, moments before he knocked at the Supreme Court's door, Parambir Singh launched another scathing counter to Sharad Pawar's charge that he is a liar. The ex-Mumbai Police Commissioner's camp responded saying he wrote the letter as he was upset over the lapses charge that was levelled against him in this entire case. The Home Minister had said that there were many lapses in the investigation and that's why Parambir said he felt the need to write the letter. Parambir even denied meeting BJP leaders and seeking central deputation. So there is a crossfire that's on between Parambir and the Udhav Thakre government. Number three, NCP chief Sharad Pawar has defended Home Minister Anil Deshmukh, who is from his own party, the NCP, claiming that the Home Minister was hospitalized during the period mentioned in Parambir's letter due to COVID. However, the BJP's Amit Malviya has tweeted a video of Deshmukh addressing a press conference on February the 15th. So they've basically fact-checked the fact-check of the NCP. Number four. Parambir Singh's letter bomb has also echoed in Parliament. BJP MPs launched a loud attack at the Mahavikas Aghadi government in Parliament. Union Minister Prakash Javdekar raised the issue in the Raj Sabha, accusing Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh of running an extortion syndicate. And finally, the Maharashtra Anti-Terror Squad has claimed to have cracked the Mansuk Hiren murder case. The ATS probe claimed that Sachin Vaze, the suspended cop, may not have been present when Hiren was murdered, but he ordered the killing. The ATS on Sunday arrested suspended constable Vinayak Shinde and cricket bookie Naresh Dhare. They claim to have cracked the case, but the fallout and the ripples of this entire case obviously are being felt at the very top of India's establishments from the government in Maharashtra to the Mumbai police and now to the Supreme Court. It is Parambir Singh versus the Maharashtra government, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make no mistake about that. He's knocked on the doors of the country's highest court now, seeking a probe into what he calls absolute corrupt malpractices by the Home Minister, the very man he served under until just a few days ago. He's seeking a probe into the allegations involved in his transfer from Mumbai Police Commissioner's post. He was basically downgraded a few days ago and shunted to the much less prestigious post of Director General of the Home Guards. Parambir has demanded a CBI probe against Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh over notorious and corrupt malpractices that he's alleging. He's also demanded a probe into CCTV footage of the Home Minister's residence. Parambir Singh has also broken his silence over the allegations against him. According to sources, Parambir has hit back at Sharad Pawar, who is the supremo of the NCP to which the Home Minister of Maharashtra belongs, saying that tainted cop Sachin Vaze met Anil Deshmukh multiple times in the past. He's also clarified that he neither went to Delhi to meet any BJP leader, nor does he want any central deputation. Parambir Singh has also said that he wrote the letter as he was hurt over allegations against him by the Home Minister that there were lapses in the entire Antilia bomb scare investigation. Parambir's clarification comes after Sharad Pawar attacked him twice in two days, saying that he is a blatant liar. Pawar also claimed political vendetta motive behind Parambir's letter bomb that was dropped on Saturday. Parambir in that letter had claimed that Home Minister Anil Deshmukh had asked disgraced cop Sachin Vaze to extort 100 crore rupees every month from hotels and restaurants in the city of Mumbai. So while he was waiting up to second week of March for the whole month, this is a certain issue. It was his duty, at least he should say something in writing. At least it was his duty to register such and such thing to certain record. 
But that is not done. He has disclosed this, all these things, when he was about to transfer as he transfers. Sutar, with me live from uh, Mumbai, Kamlesh. Uh, the ex-Mumbai police commissioner has basically declared war on the government that he served under until just a few days ago. He's knocked on the doors of the Supreme Court. Where is this leading now? I mean, this is incredible. One would have imagined that, you know, stuff like this happens behind closed doors. This is playing out completely in public. It's a war between the Mumbai police commissioner, the ex-Mumbai police commissioner and his very own government. Uh, well, indeed, and that is why uh, when we be speaking to some senior officers uh, uh, in Mantralaya as well, uh, in the bureaucratic setup and in the police setup as well, this co comes as a big surprise. Uh, even in the past shift, there have been cases where uh, police officials, senior officers, bureaucrats have had differences of opinion uh, with the government, but there have been very few cases in the past, very few, uh, where uh, the administration and uh, such officials have indulged into such an war. But this is turning out uh, to be ugly uh, or rather uglier than what it was expected. What in, uh, initially started uh, as a probe of the explosive Antilia via Parambir Singh, it came to the Home Minister and now uh, citing his honour should be restored. Parambir Singh has not just only initially uh, bombed the government with a letter but now has also knocked on the doors of Supreme Court seeking justice and also seeking a CBI probe. Now, uh, not very long ago, the Maharashtra government had uh, made this decision not to allow CBI to uh, come and inquire without the prior permission of the state. In such a scenario, mm. the only hope if the CBI has, come, has to come into picture, it will be through Supreme Court or uh, via High Court. Now, if Parambir Singh is uh, taking that route, it certainly is not going to please Maharashtra government. Already uh, already not happy with Parambir Singh uh, for whatever uh, revelations he's been making. Uh, the NC for Supremo Sharad Pawar, a senior yes. leader like Sharad Pawar himself, had to come out and defend uh, his home minister and had to attack uh, the Parambir Singh. You can just imagine the magnitude of the entire war that is being played out. And believe me, Shiv, this is not going to end soon. We'll have more such revelations coming out. More allegations and counter-allegations are likely to follow. Okay, thanks very much, Kamlesh, for that. Let's take a look at Parambir Singh's five bombshells that have taken place so far. And this is a rapidly developing story. Apart from the letter bomb itself, you now have this appeal in the Supreme Court for an investigation. Bombshell number one. In case you've just tuned in, let me just reiterate it because this story is not going to go anywhere. It's only going to escalate. Number one, he says, Home Minister Anil Deshmukh asked tainted cop Sachin Vaze to extort 100 crore rupees per month. Bombshell number two, he pointed out that Home Minister Deshmukh's misdeeds to the Chief Minister in mid-March. That's what he says. He says he highlighted this to Udhav Thakre in mid-March. Number three, he says Deshmukh, the Home Minister, called Sachin Vaze to his official residence in mid-February. Bombshell number four, some Maharashtra ministers were also aware of Home Minister Deshmukh's misdeeds with all this extortion syndicate allegations. Number five, Deshmukh was instructing Mumbai police officers and interfering in any investigation that was taking place. Of course, the big question that should come to everyone's mind is, why has it taken Parambir Singh being transferred for him to come out with all these big revelations and only under pressure? Was this not something that he should have been investigating while he was the Mumbai police commissioner? But those are larger questions, the answers to which are not apparent just yet. But this explosive political face-off between the BJP, which is the opposition, and the Aghadi Sarkar in Maharashtra, which is the NCP Congress and Shiv Sena, over Anil Deshmukh is escalating as well. Minutes after, NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar claimed that Anil Deshmukh was admitted to hospital 
from February 5th to 15th and didn't meet Sachin Vazi in an effort to blunt what the BJP is alleging and what Parambir is alleging rather, the BJP has countered Pawar's claims. BJP's IT cell chief Amit Malviya tweeted a video of Anil Deshmukh holding a press conference on the 15th of February, basically refuting what Sharad Pawar said. The BJP claims that Pawar's lies have been exposed as Deshmukh wasn't hospitalized on February the 15th. Backing Deshmukh, Pawar in his second defense in two days had said that the Maharashtra Home Minister couldn't have met anyone in February as he was hospitalized, remember, from 5th to 15th due to COVID. But now Pawar adds that Deshmukh was in home quarantine till February 27th. The NCP Supremo attacked Parambir Singh saying that the real motivation behind the letter is now clear. From 5th February to 15th February, Mr. Deshmukh was admitted in the hospital because of the corona. Mama COVID Zalamway, me Nakurja, Alexis Hospital La, past February, the Pandra Fibronja Terman, the hospital for the admitted. Pandra Fabrida Mada, the hospital for the discharge. Discharge with the Sana. मी हॉस्पिटल जा बाहर पड़ा तस्तान्ना हॉस्पिटल जा गेट पर अनेक पत्रकार तैटी के निभे होते हैं जहाँ ना कई मतलब प्रश्न भी चलने चाहिए होते हैं तभी इसमें कोविड बंदर उत्तर बाहर वाले में मजा आंगन त्राण होता विकनेस होता जैसे मैं भी तीतर हॉस्पिटल जा तीते गेट पर कुछ और बसो क्या कहना चाह तो सुबह उठकर पांच बजे शर्म जो शपथ ग्रहण किया ना उसकी शर्म करो शर्म करनी चाहिए उनको हमें क्या जो आशा हुआ उसकी इंपैक्ट तो आप एनआईए कर रही है ना आपकी एजेंसी कर रही है प्रकाश जावड़ेकर ने भी मांग की मुख्यमंत्री वो कुछ भी कहे तो हम उसके ऊपर जवाब देने की आवाज़ चकता है क्या सरकार को बदनाम करने का काम और मार्च को बदनाम करने का काम ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग करते आए परमवीर जी भी बोल रहे हैं कि सीबीआई की जांच होनी चाहिए पूरे मसले पर परमवीर की जांच हो पहले उसके ऊपर अनुप डांगे ने जो इल्जाम लगाए पूर्व कमिश्नर जुलियस रिबेरो ने जो इल्जाम लगाए उनके ऊपर खास करके आईपीएस खोपड़े सामने जो इल्जाम लगाए अच्छा ये सारे इल्जाम डायरी में नोट डाउन है शरद पवार साहब महाराष्ट्र की जनता को मूर्ख बना रहे हैं अगर परमवीर सिंह गलत है तो गृह मंत्रालय शरद पवार जी की पार्टी के पास है वो परमवीर सिंह को डिसमिस करे और उसके उनको तुरंत उसके सामने एफ दर्ज करे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की मांग है ये दोनों मिलकर महीने के सौ करोड़ जो महाराष्ट्र की जनता से वसूली की है वो पंद्रह सौ करोड़ वापस दे उसका हिसाब दे and here's where it gets even more interesting because you've got the NCP and the BJP kind of fact-checking each other. But when India Today confronted NCP Chief Sharad Pawar on the BJP's fact-check, the NCP Supremo refused to answer and remained completely evasive because he had been fact-checked in turn. Anil Deshmukh was doing a press conference on the 15th of February. After watching the press conference, Amit Malviya has tweeted that Anil Deshmukh was doing a press conference on the 15th of February. The video is also shown. The video is on the 15th of February. The video is on the 15th of February. The video is on the 15th of February. So you are saying that he was doing a press conference. You are saying that he was doing a press conference. You have given a date, sir. 15th of February. This is the first time. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.